Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a simple tip to help you when you're recording angles for a montage. Alright, this is a nice and easy tip, but it really helps when you want to like improve the framing and the composition of your shots. The tip is to actually record slightly wider than what you originally want for your composition. So say the shot we're looking for is something like this where we get like a, say like a nice framing, he's up close, but I purposely recorded it wider here. Now a few reasons is you can actually scale in, change your position and change your rotation to control your composition more once you're already in post-production here. And what's nice is when you're uploading to YouTube, the quality is already gonna get compressed a bit. So you can not feel bad about scaling in 25% or 35%. And in this case with Halo 5, all the gameplay is recorded on the Xbox DVR, which for some reason only does 720p because it's terrible. The footage I've recorded is all 1080p, so I know I can scale into 150 before I even lose quality because my sequence is 720p because that's what the footage is, or sorry, the gameplay. So I could even scale in up to say like 160 and it would still look fine in 720p here. An example here is this composition is already at 1080p because that's what the footage is but because I know my gameplay is at 12, or sorry, 720p, I could do that and you can see how much scaling you get in that's lossless. There's no quality lost. So I'd bring it into the actual composition that I'm gonna have, which is, you know, the 720p, because that's sadly what the footage was for Halo 5 there. And I have this much room to play with. So originally that's what the, the footage looks like and it's at 70%, so I know I can go up to 100 and it doesn't lose any quality. So you can see this is, I can now frame and shape my shot. So watching the shot, he jumps up into the frame I want. In this shot, I would only use him jumping up, him getting ready, and then obviously you'd cut to him sniping or getting sniped or whatever is happening in the shot. You can see just by playing with the scale alone, the shot's more of what I want, right? Like it's already closer to where I want it. Now, if I was following the rule of thirds, maybe you don't want him right in the center, but you want him a little more on the side, and you have, say, black bars at the top or bottom, you just control his position a little more and get a shot like this. So that's already a big difference from the kind of far back shot you had. But because I filmed far back, it gave me the control and the options to do something like this and letting me play with it. And you could obviously rotate it and do whatever you want there. Just getting a more dynamic shot because I have more control over the composition and I can line it up the way I want. So simple tip, but hopefully it helps you guys out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more filmmaking techniques and how you can utilize them in your video game montages.